Hey everybody, it's been a while since I did a video and uh, figured I'd bring you some Smith & Wesson revolvers. What we have here are a couple Model 40s, a Model 42, and a Model 60-1 Chief Special. And uh, if you know very much about Smith & Wesson revolvers, you know the 40 and 42 are the Centennial models. Uh, I think they came out around 1952 to mark the 100 year anniversary Smith & Wesson. Um, the Model 40 is the standard weight. It came in blued and nickel, uh, 2 inch barrels. And the Model 42, the third from the left, hopefully you can see with my um, <laughs> my uh, markings here on a piece of paper, uh, the third from the left is the Model 42, which is the same thing as the Model 40 except it's an air weight model. And uh, the last one is the Model 60, which is known as the Chief Special. And there are a couple things that are unique about, about these in particular. Um, they were acquired uh, by my father back in, I think, probably the mid-70s, uh, early 70s, something like that. I haven't looked up serial numbers or anything yet on these, but um, the unique thing about these is that, first, they've never been fired, and second, if you know whenever guns come from the factory they usually put a uh, single round or a couple rounds through the cylinders make sure everything works properly and these guns have never even been fired from the factory there's absolutely no factory firing absolutely nothing in them so these have literally never been fired and they're obviously in perfect condition this is the Model 40 all blue 2 inch barrel and then we'll go to the nickel plated one Model 40 standard weight as you can see here everything is literally perfect on it there's no marking on the front of the cylinder face nothing down the barrels it's totally clean And this is the nickel plated version. It is really pretty actually. And finally, well not finally yet, but the Model 42, this is the air weight in blue. And I love Smith & Wesson's. I think they're just great carry guns. Even this in air weight, I mean, you know, probably mid 70s, this weighs almost nothing. It actually has a lightly case colored uh, trigger. I kind of like that touch. Uh, I think the, the classic series from Smith & Wesson, uh, when they brought them back, when they they actually brought them back, they're bringing them back, um, have really nice case coloring on some of the parts. You can see here, serial numbers, L3291 let's see what these are let's see L7380 I think Smith & Wesson uh, in 52 came out with normal serial number ranges and then once they got to a certain number they started adding prefixes so they'd add the L for the next versions and then finally here I'm going to make this a quick video. Um, this is the Chief Special. Which, what, this one has been fired. What makes this one unique is that it has adjustable sights. And Smith & Wesson did not make, as far as I understand it, too many of the Model 60s, the Chief Special, uh, with adjustable sights. This has unique serial number starting with ALU for aluminum frame. This one hasn't been fired very much at all either. but it's very clean but you can see if you get the light right you can see the ring around the cylinders from where where it has been fired if you have revolvers you know that you will get a ring around the cylinder uh, if you do fire them this has been fired uh, not very many times you can fire it single action or double and the the trigger pull on this in single action I'll dry fire at once is so light I mean, you barely put any pressure on that in the single action form. Double action, it's a normal Smith & Wesson. It's still pretty light though for a, a carry gun. 
the trigger pull that is and those are the adjustable sights chief special adjustable sights probably from the mid maybe late 70s and again just in really good condition all the way around and there they are the Centennial models 40 and 42 um, I think he also has a nickel plated model 42 I just didn't bring that one I think that one has been fired these were uh, three unfired and uh, one kinda rare model 60 uh, chief special with adjustable sights so hope you enjoyed this quick video um, obviously I won't be shooting these but um, I have some videos coming up on the the CZ that I, I put a quick video up there of, of it in action uh, the CZ-75B uh, Cold War commemorative. I'll have a close-up on that one. Um, I also picked up some 22s and uh, I have some uh, guns at the uh, at the uh, gun shop right now in for gunsmithing and uh, there's some pretty cool models that I'll be doing some videos on. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.